Hey, what's happening guys? I'm Ikehime, and welcome to my channel, and welcome to a traditional speed paint, uh, which, you know, is probably a little bit exciting because it's not a digital speed paint, which is what I do most of because it's way easier and doesn't involve a webcam, but, you know, that's just how it is. But it is Inktober, and I figured I would do at least one contribution for Inktober, even though, uh... I wasn't going to do anything, actually. I had I had made the statement to myself that I was not going to participate in Inktober, even though I thought maybe for like a little bit that I would. Uh, yeah, no, I really don't have the time or the ambition to actually do that, so uh, I'm not going to. So this is what you get for my Inktober piece. Um, fun fact, I did start this on the day that the prompt was for Star, and if you're noticing, Coraline is wearing a Star sweater, the Star sweater that she wears in like the other Mother World. Um, so that was a total accident, but it worked. Unfortunately, I didn't finish it that day because I actually forgot that I started drawing this for Inktober, and I was distracted by something else. That I was working on. But I am using Prismacolor fine liners for the main outline of everything. And as you can see on Other Mother's Hair, I omitted some of those sketchy details uh, because I will just be filling that in with black later on. I'm going in with some speedball ink and a watercolor paintbrush. It's a cheap watercolor paintbrush that I got off of Wish. Um, I kind of just use cheap paintbrushes for like my inking and stuff because it doesn't matter. I'm not a huge paintbrush snob. Like, nice brushes are nice, don't get me wrong. Like, if you give me a nice brush, I'm not going to be, like, turning you away or anything like that. You know, it's a good brush. I'm going to keep a good brush. But honestly, if as long as it doesn't lose its bristles, I really don't care. Um, I do have paintbrushes that lose their bristles, and it's super annoying, but these have not lost their bristles, so honestly, 10 out of 10, like... <laughs> This is a great brush, and it's just, it's like, it's just a really cheap brush. But yeah, so basically I just go in and fill in as much of it as I possibly can with the ink and paintbrush because I am all about not wasting time. Um, I like to take the quick route as much as possible, so that is clearly what I'm doing here. Um, I don't know how other people really ink. I don't know if they just go in with a fine liner or a thick pen and they just kind of take their time on this, but uh, I don't do that because I feel like if I spent that much time inking it, I would get super bored. <laughs> like, um, I don't like taking a lot of time to ink things. And especially as someone that makes manga, I kind of want to be able to get a nice result without spending like three weeks on one thing, you know? You know? You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Basically, I have to crank out pages as quickly as I can and, you know, while having like super nice and beautiful inking skills is probably super desirable and uh, what people would really love, uh, it's really just not not a super possible thing if I actually want to finish any of my comics, so yeah. Um, so I'm basically I'm just going in and defining stuff. A lot of this is just the paintbrush work and everything. I was going to draw Other Mother and Coraline, you know, anyways, because I got super inspired by watching this one YouTube video of someone doing a face-up doll makeover for Other Mother, and I've honestly never been so inspired to get into dolls and face-ups in my life. Like, as soon as I saw someone, like, making Other Mother, I was like, you can make creepy shit? Oh my god. I really want some dolls so that I can make all of these cool characters. <laughs> oh, gosh. My one regret is that I am not rich enough to have bid on the original puppets for Coraline when they went up to auction however many years ago that was. But, okay, so now I'm going in with another fine lining pen, and I'm just doing the cross-hatching details. This just, you know, gives a little more shading and a little more texture and interest and makes it not look so blocky and flat, uh, which is a really fun thing that I'm getting into lately. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, the only issue with this is that it is a different kind of ink than speedball ink. Like, speedball ink is a matte black India ink, and I don't exactly know what kind of ink is in the Prismacolor thing, but it's shiny. So, 
you can tell when you tilt it in the light that they are two different colored inks, and that is super annoying. But when you scan it and adjust the levels and whatnot, it's like not a huge deal. It's just from an original standpoint, it's kind of annoying. So now I'm going in and I am adding in the highlights that I painted over because I wasn't happy with them before. Um, and I'm just using white speedball ink. Um, it kind of takes a few layers because it's like the ink will activate the ink, but water won't activate the ink. So it's just kind of like a really weird, <laughs> weird thing. But uh, I'm kind of trying just to detail that stuff and I'm using a jelly roll pen to go around and define the shapes more because when you're working with inks um, you're dealing with a lot of black and white and especially black so it's best to try and differentiate your shapes shapes to tell them apart from one another by uh, using like white outlines and such to just kind of give things more definition so that's basically just what I'm doing there I'll go in later with um, white ink and I'll add the polka dots to Other Mother's dress. Uh, I really did enjoy drawing Other Mother because I like drawing these like really thin and lanky kind of characters. They're just just monstery looking, you know, and it's such a huge contrast from Coraline because she's just kind of like a normal child. So it was a lot of fun drawing her proportions. Uh, as for the background, the beginning of the background looks uh, totally different from the end because I had no idea what I was doing. And the thing is with ink is that you can dilute it into an ink wash, which I did here. However, once it dries on the page, you cannot reactivate it with water. It's not like watercolor where you can just kind of like throw some water on and you know, move things around, it's pretty much stuck there, so you are, like, committed. Um, I did try and mess with this a bit. Now, this is not watercolor paper, this is just sketchbook paper, but because it's inks, I can kind of get away with it because page buckling doesn't bother me as much as it might bother other people, um, so I can kind of just deal with that. But, um, yeah, anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to support my videos, feel free to hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I post a new video. You can leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. All the links to my social media, shop, and Patreon are in the description box below for you guys. Please feel free to check that out. I do have acrylic charms available and uh, pin pre-orders are open so you can go and get your enamel pins. Uh, yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed this video and honestly, Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you guys so much for being patient with my upload schedule, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!